Hi everyone, it's Bridget with Bees Altered Designs. I am here to share a project that I have done for a swap that I'm in at um, the Heart of a Gypsy Soul Designs on Facebook. It was a secret letter keepsake box swap. And this is the box that I made for my partner. Um, anyways, we had to use 10 envelopes to make a secret box. And I made... I distressed the envelopes as much as I could because I wanted it to be like vintagey, um, like old, like they, these have been around for a while. And um, I put cardboard in each of the envelopes and then I taped them or glued them all together um, up to the last two. And I actually um, did the last, I took one out. Um, because it just didn't work for me. So I think there's nine. So it's not quite ten. I don't I think there's like nine envelopes here, but it still worked. So I'll start on the back. Um, I just had some stamps, you know, some postage stamp kind of um, stamps, rubber stamps. And I stamped in places. I used um, the bottom of a spray bottle and kind of like inked that on there. I put some feet on here just to give it a more vintage look. I kind of like the way that made it look. I staggered my envelopes and just here on the top I had um, some stamps that I had gotten in a um, I believe I got them in a, in a swap. I'm sorry that I don't remember who gave them to me but um, I glued them to some of the envelopes here and some of the envelopes I actually stamped the postage um, meter kind of thing on them and I put one on top I mean this is Gettysburg this is a 19 no this is 1863 1963 yeah so Gettysburg is 1863 it is Civil War of Gettysburg anyways not that you guys all care so I did the same thing that I did on the bottom on here with the bottom of the bottle. I kind of wanted to make it look like um, a tea stain because that's what I distressed with, tea, tea, the tea dye stain um, distress ink. <laughs> um, of course, the cups aren't, it doesn't look like big cups, but, you know. Anyways, I just put a, a bunch of flowers here, a flower cluster and a cameo here, and I just closed it with um, some seam binding and some lace. And I will open it up. You just untie it. And then on here, I had stamped a postcard, put a stamp on here that I had. This is not her real address, so um, this is my swap partner, but this isn't her real address. I kind of like made up an address. Um, these are some stickers that I had in my stash. And then when you open it, um, this is some paper that I have. Um, it's like big, huge sheets. And I put that on this side. I really didn't want to dress the inside too much because it does close as a box, but I thought that was kind of vintagey. And I just put a um, applique butterfly here and some um, bead flourishes here. I did type up a letter to her and I distressed the letter. So this is a letter for her to read. But I thought that looked kind of cool coming out of the envelope like that. Um, and then I kind of did fake addresses on the sides of this, you know, the return address. This is my little secret box opening. It's not as big as I guess it should have been. Um, it's kind of small, but that's okay. I'm, I'm going to fill it up with um, a few goodies. And then I put a doily here and I kind of distressed it. I added a few Prima flowers here with some bling on top of them. I had these gloves in my stash and a vintage button and this, um, this pen piece. I believe they're Tim Holtz. Um, it was, this was given to me in a swap too. And I just put a little heart bling on there to make it look like a ring. And of course I stamped with a bunch of stamps that I had. I lined this with burlap and I used um, bias tape to cover the edges. And then here's my vintage key because we did have to include a key and a lock. And I'll just take this out. And I did, I just got this in a swap 
and I thought it was perfect. So I E6000 that here and that's what closes the box with the seam binding and the ribbon. So that is my secret um, letter keepsake box and I hope you all enjoyed.